Up until recently, I've considered Family Guy an objectively bad show. I always preferred pretty much any other adult animated show over it back when I watched a lot of Comedy Central, and the few times I tried getting into it, it only took a few unfunny cutaway gags to make me turn off the TV and do something useful. That'll be more pathetic than that game of Marco Polo I played with Helen Keller. Marco! Marco! Anyway, a few weeks ago I decided to give it another shot. And I've realized something. Family Guy is bad. But in a way, that's actually kind of brilliant. Let me explain. If you've watched even a single episode of Family Guy, you've likely noticed that it stands apart. Not just from other adult cartoons, but from just about everything else on TV. What sets it apart is how deliberately annoying it oftentimes is. Mom! Mom! Mommy! 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 Bear with me here. I'm totally serious. I think the fact that Family Guy is constantly challenging the viewer with unrelated cutaway gags, painfully long jokes and chaotic storytelling makes it simultaneously horrible and awesome. Let me give you a few examples of what I'm talking about. So the cutaway gags are infamous. And it's pretty self-explanatory why they're often seen as irritating. When I think back of all the food we've wasted in this house. Here, Tom Selleck. Come on. The sheer volume of cutaways alone is absurd. And the quality is, to put it lightly, hit or miss. A lot of these gags reference obscure movies, TV shows or celebrities that many viewers don't even recognize. <gasps> Billy D. Williams! I can confidently say that I don't understand at least a third of them. And yet, that's not necessarily a bad thing. In a media landscape where most shows try to cater to the widest audience possible, Family Guy actively excludes viewers. Almost as if the show is saying, we don't care if you get this joke, we're gonna do whatever we want. Come on, you hey, 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 none for you, Higgins! trying to steal Tom Selleck's food. No! Then there are the jokes that are stretched out to the point of absurdity. Take the infamous... Ah. Ah. Most, if not all, comedies are hyper aware of the need to keep the audience engaged. But Family Guy doesn't care if you're getting impatient. It's almost as if the show wants to test you, daring you to get bored and change the channel. It's purposefully hard to watch. Mama! Mama! What? The same goes for running gags, like Herbert, the old man who obviously likes children. Oh no, there's no police here to help me. I hope you don't find the money strapped to my thigh. By all normal standards, these jokes shouldn't work. After all, it's always the same predictable punchline. Which, if you think about it, is another way of Family Guy saying, we don't care if this joke is played out. We think it's funny, so we're gonna keep making it. And now back to ESPN's exclusive coverage of the Little League World Series. Oh, jackpot! Last but not least, I want to point out the show's non-linear storytelling. Sometimes it's a cutaway gag, but other times it's an entire scene that seems to hijack the episode. The iconic chicken fights are the perfect example. They come out of nowhere and derail the plot for minutes, while Peter battles a giant chicken for no apparent reason. These scenes completely interrupt the flow, making it impossible to settle into any predictable narrative structure. In a typical show, this would be seen as sloppy writing, but in Family Guy, it's the point. <sighs> Sorry. And every other school we've tried just doesn't seem to be a good fit for Chris. So at this point, We've established that Family Guy deliberately bucks the trends of traditional storytelling. It's not smooth or polished, like episodes of The Simpsons or South Park for example. Those shows are like well-paved roads taking you from point A to point B, while Family Guy is a bumpy off-road track full of detours and dead ends that sometimes seem nonsensical. And I've come to respect that. Here's why. In today's world, media has almost become too smooth. <laughs> YouTube videos, TikToks and even TV shows are increasingly designed to be as easily digestible as possible. These are one dollar football boots. And I know it's kind of insane to suggest that out of all shows, Family Guy stands contrary to this content mill slop. After all, Family Guy compilations 
are what most people would call the ultimate slop content. But the experience of watching an 8 minute video of unrelated family guy scenes can't be compared to watching an actual episode. The same way eating a bowl of pistachios without shells can't be compared to having to peel them. You might get the same thing in the end, but the difference in inconvenience makes the two distinct experiences. Watching Family Guy in full, with its annoying cutaway gags, drawn out jokes and chaotic structure is so much harder than watching 20 minutes of TikTok or Mr. Beast or even The Simpsons or South Park or How I Met Your Mother or whatever. None of these videos or TV shows would even dare to waste even 10 seconds of your time on one shot of a guy repeatedly making ah. Ah. They would be afraid to lose you. All entertainment is afraid to lose you. Except for Family Guy. Family Guy doesn't care. That's how I would sum up the spirit of the entire show. It doesn't care about societal taboos, coherence or fitting into a neat marketable package. The show does whatever it wants. And there's something refreshing about that in a world that increasingly values convenience and instant gratification. So yes, I still think Family Guy is bad in the traditional sense. It breaks the rules of good storytelling, it's often annoying and it's totally chaotic. But that's exactly why I think it's brilliant. It dares to be difficult to alienate its audience and to push boundaries in ways that most shows would never attempt. And for that, I respect it. Did you enjoy Family Guy? No, I didn't really. I don't really get it. It's not funny to me, it's stupid. What's the point? 